Welcome back to the crossover. Well, me and the professor have to part ways on our own respective oh, journeys. Yeah. So, while me and Maya leave the professor and Luke to whatever they're doing, let's go visit our <clears throat> oh. redundant client. Well, we say oh. well, we say crossover. Well, we say crossover, but we barely cross over at all. The professor and Luke, I think they can take care of themselves. More than you can imagine, Phoenix. He's prepared for the next day. Young boy is decapitated. It wouldn't be the first time he's died. Anyway, we should hurry up and talk to Espella. Right. He's decapitated that time. Even though she tries to hide it, inside she must be terrified. See, here's the thing. Here's the thing, George. Despite what the Lean Universe says, there is clearly some supernatural stuff going on that could probably resurrect him, even if he got his head Again, guys. Giant manatee. Yeah. Which they claim is yeah. a dinosaur. Like, I, I still also, don't get what last Also, was the underwater to... city you sing out of the ground. Also, look at this way, Jova. It's, it's a dinosaur, but uh, as always, Nagana likes to make things look cute, so we just made it look like that. Okay, Pedro, I mean them no disrespect, but between claiming a manatee as a dinosaur and then claiming that thing was a Chronosaurus when it clearly wasn't in um, Diabolical Box. I can yeah. I can ask I, I can ask this some another time, but also to go yeah, back to guys. what Phoenix. Like I say again, guys, you guys have come from a country that has the death penalty, and you're banging on about burning witches. Honestly, the great I... witch Bazella. I wonder why they suspect Bazella of being her. Uh, I don't know. It rhymes! <laughs> okay, Dwibs, To be fair, if we suspected people just based off of names rhyming with stuff, uh, yeah, well. Obviously, the legal system would go to even more crap than it already is. Hey, Defender, the accused wants to see you. Well, this is it, Nick. It sure is. Let's go, Maya. Also, Don't... about taking care of oneself, I think this... Yeah, it, right, chronologically, this is before Phoenix actually gets injured by falling off the bridge at Rhine. Yeah, although, again, there's a certain fan theory people have about how he keeps surviving stuff. It kind of ties into Ghost Trick and a theory of who he... He has a blessing on him, sure. <laughs> His name is yeah. Phoenix, there you go. <laughs> Pelly, you, might as well, you might as well move to this dungeon at this point. I don't like the look of those chains. I think she can this just place looks jump, scary, Nick. jump through the hole. Yeah, I was like, she could, like, climb. Oh, no, short distance, sorry. It's yeah, perspective. perspective. Ah. Yo. Hi. Mr. Wright, Maya. You know, I'm used to seeing Maya on the other end of these bars. It's kind of weird. Estella. So okay. this is the Death Knell Dungeon. Looks more like a solitary confinement to me. With a name like that, you expect it to be more hardcore. <laughs> yep. Don't worry, I'm fine, really. We just had sure to change it from the last name of the Rainbow Riches Dungeon. Cant My name is Estella Cantabella, and I'm fine. Go on. I was, uh, I was a little surprised at how hard the bed was, though. Gee, it's like it's a cell or something. <laughs> I don't even want to know about where they go to the bathroom. Uh, well, according if, if Uncharted is to be believed, it's a bucket where they all have to share. Oh, that's right, I have something for you. Here, the boss made it for you. Look, it's a special walnut bread. You should try it. Especially and I'm not the, sure how I was allowed to bring it in here. Especially the file inside it, man. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say. Don't accidentally you... eat it. Please. We'll get you home soon. Uh... Then we can all sit down and eat Patty's fresh baked bread together. Oh, yeah, goodness. that would be nice. I don't want all that bread again. We're going to have you out of here soon. Don't you worry, Espella. Stop jinxing it. I always find a way out somehow. But are you sure you want to do that? Uh. What are you talking about, Estella? <sighs> Do you really want to continue defending me, Mr. Wright? Why yes, wouldn't I? The character traits. 
See, now, I feel like it would have been better if she said that after she explained why defending her would be a danger, because I think she should know that Phoenix and Maya don't know the reason now why. You do both know what I've been charged with, don't you? Oh, yeah. The ultimate Trust crime. Me, Trust me, Espella, this is Tuesday to us. I mean, it is a Capco product, after all. <laughs> sure we do. They're accusing you of being Bazala, the source of all witches here in Labyrinthia. The source of all evil. I yeah, forgot this... the name of the, the, the evil asteroid from that heavy metal. That's right. And anyone who defends such a subject will also come under suspicion themselves. People mm. are likely to criticize you and make you suffer all on my account. I got it really easy. <laughs> 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 I can't ask you to defend me. I don't want you suffering because of me. How noble of I don't you. Want to, I don't want to be defended. You be defended, okay. See, it's like I said, Lips. They're trying to make her like Sheena in Castle in the Sky. The problem is that uh, um, even though Sheena is bland in that movie too, the, other, the rest of the cast makes up for it. Okay, um, okay. I'm going to give a spell a credit here. It's not yet at this point where she gets annoying with it. Like, to be fair, sure. as far as we are with Aspella right now, she is fine. Even if we, it's already confirmed she's going to be the client in at least three cases of the cases in this game. Oh, sure, I understand that. It's more about the fact that she has little to no personality. I really do think, though, that that bit shines more when we start to get to the later half of the game. Mm, I guess. Come I on. bet you're just worried that Nick will slip up or something. Thanks, huh? Maya. Great, great, great Always reassuring you are. Remember that next time you're in prison. Yeah, which why do I get the feeling could oh, be, be very tomorrow. soon. Trust me, there's nothing to worry about. Uh, there is nothing mm, to worry about. No, 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 that's not what I meant. I wouldn't think that at all. I mean, you would, but I wouldn't. <laughs> Mr. Wright, you were just amazing. Well, it is my job. I mean, I've seen some of your colleagues. Fair enough. Fair enough. You and Mr. Layton both. It was like you were working magic together. Mm, what, it's so May say, say on the magic <laughs> We don't say the M word here. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I mean, it's not like they could, could uh, you know, it's not like they could accuse me of being a witch. Like, I'm a guy, so I can't be a witch. And if you would be a warlock, more well, like a wizard. That's beside yeah. the point. Yeah. The but they'll accuse Maya, and then you'll be accused of basically protecting her. Figures. The two of us, the professor and Luke, will all be working together on this. Because yeah. we're a Saturnian Latham heroes. Sure, sure. Remember, this is a uh, this is supposed this is a Middle Ages like uh, world, so probably just by having by just her reading would cause some kind of eyebrows. So it's just that the only one who's ever been this kind to me before is Aunt Patty. Okay, remember that line for later. Mm -hmm. Much remember later, this. but remember it. This action will have consequences? Well, well like, it... Drova will definitely not remember this later. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, wait. Don't worry, I'll remember it. I don't ever I was more. I was more referencing an inside joke from uh, Telltale's Batman Season 2. Ah. I don't know what to say. Thank you. Espella, I'm not sure how to say this, but... Fuck you, I'm leaving. Goodbye. It seems that the townsfolk are distancing themselves from you. Hmm. It's as if I mean, they where they connected you for some in reason. the first place. Uh, like, sure, again, fear and everything now. Okay, but to as be fair, like she, it's not like they were like super social with her or anything. 
To be fair, as Phoenix mentioned, it would have been one thing if they were scared of her after the accusation of Bazella, but it's like they feared her even before she was accused of being Bazella. Yeah, that, no, no, that's what, exactly what I was saying. Like, Phoenix is saying that their distancing themselves from her feels more redundant than anything. So according to Maya, cute people can't be witches. We heard from the High Inquisitor that there's a reason why people are so suspicious of you. Maya, don't Your be so judgmental. Maya, don't be like that, come on. Everybody can be a witch. It's okay with to. you. We'd like you to tell us that what that reason is. The reason the townsfolk suspect you. And why there are why they are so distant? In the feller a pickpocket? Would you really suspect this girl being a pickpocket? Yeah, I mean the flower seller girl on the other hand. <laughs> yeah. All uh, right. In yeah, in snack world, the flower seller girl turns out to be a thief. Uh -oh. <laughs> I guess I never had the chance to explain properly. And the flower girl in this game never turned out to. On, yeah. and the flower eh? girl in this game turned out to be a witch. Yeah. It's I true guess, with uh, the town's- sorry. oh, sorry. I guess Hino and Takumi like uh, subverting that trope. Go on, but, Yeah, mm -hmm. this is important. So. It's true the townsfolk look at me differently. And the reason for that is... is... The hours are over. Go on, out! You see, the reason for that is... Because I am... All of me? Yes. This is who I am, not a shadow. Well, speak of shadows, fade like to black. Next scene. Yeah, yeah, whatever, that's not important. Moving on. Well, Professor, we've reached the library. I can't help but feel like we may have been interrupting something, but oh well, the place <laughs> at which the storyteller is waiting for us is east of here, isn't it? Well, Luke, I get more screen time at least, so uh, I think what I. Indeed. According to the night, the audience room is past the guard post. Mm -hmm. I wonder what the creator of Labyrinthia wants to talk to you about, Professor? My death, probably. You've been you've been going off script, Layton. You're fucked with me. Yes. Uh, today, uh, today I write down chapter nine. Natural selection. I don't even want to know. Be that this opportunity has come so soon. Even if it is part of some scheme. Hmm. Hmm. Let's go, Professor! To the audience room! Ta -da -da -da. To the guarded gate! Wrong guard. Anyway, but first, first look, I need to uh, let me get my 3DS out to save the game. Alright then! Don't you mean your? Don't you mean, you mean your um, your suitcase, Professor? The, my my free is in my suitcase. Free the uh, suitcase. But first, no, a little no. detour. Are yes. there yes. puzzles missing? Yep. Well, that's the thing too. Ever since the 3DS games, now it's much easier to tell uh, because each area it said tells you how many puzzles are in mm -hmm. that area. So well, it's, it's, it's much easier. Oh, to Come on, Pedro. Are you two folks interested in hearing a rumor? Old Broody. What do you say? I suppose rumors could be a useful source of information. I guess you could say people are really rooting for her. Ha. Huh. <laughs> One can learn a lot about a place by simply talking to its people. No <laughs> way, Professor! I'd have never have imagined. <laughs> Sounds like you folks are after some juicy gossip, alright? <laughs> yes. Huh. What kind of rumor can you tell us? Uh, did you hear? Turns out yeah. Aiden, at one point, had a daughter. <laughs> That's oh a my... silly question, youngster. Uh, it's not for me to choose a rumor. You two folks have to guess what it is. Sewing yeah, circles Jeez. must be quite a lot of fun in that way. What do you mean? She's, she's somewhere in London. I, I can't remember where. Take a look at this. One, two, and I'm jumping for some reason. Uh, what's today's vegetable? 
What? <laughs> Why, it's a puzznip. Oh my eh? god, they've turned eh? puzzles into vegetables eh? that you can consume. A the horror. Pub. <laughs> okay, let me let me tell you how this puzznip works. <laughs> Animal pens. Use a popular children's puzzle that utilizes animal toys. See if you can solve it. There are seven animal blocks. Each of them varies in size and shape. Also, each piece can be rotated 90 degrees. The goal is to get all the animal blocks to put away into the rooms without having them overlap. While it seems simple, it can be quite difficult. <laughs> touch it's the animals um... on the touch screen below and slide the stylus to move them around the screen. You can also touch the edge of the animals and rotate them 90 degrees by sliding the stylus. Can you fit all the animals inside the rooms? No? All right, Luke, uh, you could do this one. It seems simple enough. I mean, you're, you're the one who's great with animals, Luke, so... Of course! Yes, I mean, naturally. They naturally do it. Of course the force goes naturally. Hmm. Meanwhile, I'm just going to uh, get my totally um, out-of-place mobile phone and read my text messages. You know, late the latent universe is probably that kind of place where you'd have people using smartphones right next to somebody typing on a typewriter. Well, uh, oh god. Ooh, uh, this is a this is a juicy bit of news, Luke. They've uh, found the act. They found the actor to play uh, an older version of yourself for a future later installment. How There's are we getting over. reception uh, here? But yes, Pedro. There's a there's a Venge over. The way the latent era takes place 20 years after Lost Future, and yet they're See, still using of uh, uh, you know analog phones. <laughs> huh. Professor, I did it. Abbot Lou is about to read that story of the trial of Larry Buck, the actor. It's an intentional uh, choice to retain the whole Agatha Christie uh, aesthetic. You folks have loved your puzzles to have solved the Pezhnip. <laughs> what a charming thought, putting a puzzle into a turnip like that. I know. She's certainly lively, isn't she, Professor? Um, by the way, what about that rumor? Anything? Nah, no rumor. <laughs> no more Pezhnips today, I'm afraid. You folks should come again another day. I'm sorry, but were we not promised a rumor for solving the Puznip? No, I just wanted you to solve my Puznip. Professor, sorry. I believe we've been japed. <laughs> let's just, uh, let's just go. You seem to be taking it surprisingly well. We go through this all the time, but it just becomes monotonous. Mm-hmm. I suppose... Not to mention Luke, remember, not to mention Luke, remember, it's, it's a, 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 a true gentleman solves every puzzle he comes across. Gotta solve them all, yeah, I guess. But, but a true gentleman Gotta also knows what to get the fuck out of there. You know, Gotta now that makes me wonder, all. how well Professor would Pro Lighten. how well would Professor Lin do at the Pokemon Puzzle League? Profimon! <laughs> probably great, probably great knowing him, considering, you know, Opening and closing that heavy gate behind every visitor must have one be tired. The crowds are very alert. We could be certain that this town's creator is nearby. Hmm. Uh, who's this? Um, anyone. Ah, can do it. aren't you? Herschel Layton, the Hatter? <laughs> well, I'm not a Hatter, although I certainly am Herschel Layton. It's a cab, odd job. I've been told that my presence is requested in the audience room. That that would that would be quite the sight. Layton using his top hat like car job uses his hat. I definitely heard something about that, but it's beyond me why. Hmm. With all due respect, why would the storyteller invite mere commoners to the audience room? I don't know. He's the one who wrote the story. Aren't people normally allowed to visit? I wasn't talking to you. I'm part of the guest list. Of course not. Both the audience room and the tower in which he resides are areas of strict surveillance. Hmm. One does not simply visit the storyteller. Ah, uh, very did, did funny. Did you say tower? Oh, shit. <laughs> uh, the storyteller's tower, actually. Don't tell me you've never heard of it. We're new here. He only comes out of his tower to appear before the people in his parades. 
The audience room is where the storyteller comes whenever there is a parade. Um, did you just say that? Shut up! We, the Order of Night, provided protection from this guard post. Hmm. We feel honored by his presence, even if he doesn't speak to us. Well, do what you love, I guess. I see. Then it would seem we are extremely privileged to have been invited here. <laughs> Don't let it get to your head. Hmm. Well, but, oh, well it won't. A bit salty there, are we? Wait here while I open the gate. Hey, guys! Doesn't this seem a bit familiar? Guy has to open the gate, and I think we know where this is coming soon. Come to think of it, during the parade... Hmm. Yes? The storyteller did seem to be held in high esteem by all the townsfolk. Aside from those two kids calling him a wanker as he went past. No, oh, they're just kids. Indeed. After all, he is the author of this old story. And as for what happened to those two kids, um... I don't want to know, actually. So he is effectively like some kind of god. Some kind of god? He literally is god of this world, when you think about it. No! Someone tell me this isn't happening! And like clockwork, it happens. There seems to be some commotion over there. Professor, am I am I the only one getting a bit of deja vu about this? It's at night! He's coming back this way! And he doesn't look too happy! This is bad, really bad! What am I gonna do? What's the matter? Well, actually, Dark Hat. The gate won't open! Gee, guys, doesn't this remind us it's of the open. opening of Curious I Village? Can't fix it! <laughs> so, what happens now? Climb the wall yeah. or something, I don't know. Yeah, what should like I do? What am I to do? We need yeah, to do like something. Can't the story, can't keep the storyteller waiting. On, Pedro. Much like the Ace Attorney, uh, half of this game is basically a lot of, you know, a throwback to the original trilogy. The Layton half is also a throwback to the original Layton trilogy. It does also have some throwbacks to the prequel trilogy, though that may be more so because, you know, originally this was supposed to take place during the prequel Layton trilogy, and so on and so forth. I don't think we're particularly good, that's why we hired you as an actor. Don't say that! I need your help here! There's one knight who is able to fix the gates, but he's busy training with the other knight. Mm. I'd like to call him back here without disturbing the others, but in our they all look the same. The pride, the prideful force of you know, policing force of the labyrinth. Yeah. <laughs> the only way to identify him is to look for a knight with an unusually shaped sword. Uh huh. Unusually shaped sword. How interesting. Buster Sword or Masamune? No, a sword. Uh, professor, uh, doesn't that mean... It me, my boy. It means it can tackle, we can tackle this the way we would a puzzle. So, let's just turn this into a puzzle then, shall we? Press the yes, solution to everything, Professor. Everything is a puzzle to you. <laughs> so, will you find him? Although it's funny, there's a that bit of dialogue that we kind of missed. Uh, in the first time we visit, we visit the library, um, there is, I think, the locked door before you can actually open it if you interact. No, it's kind of like I... shaded, the it's not closed by a puzzle. I'll read this puzzle now. Oh, not standard issue. Puzzle 32. It's lunchtime and the knights are all eager to eat their share. They have all stabbed their swords into the massive piece of meat at the same time. One of the swords is not standard knight issue. It's an oddly curved blade. Examine the blades and find the owner of the strange sword. So basically, find which blade obviously does not line up. Oh uh, well. I'm more actually interested in what the fuck they killed to get that fat massive piece of meat. Maybe they killed a manatee to get it? Okay, I'm not, I'm not an expert in uh, 
how you know aquatic mammals uh, meat uh, is kind of like. Uh, I'm just the, the witch burnings were actually just a giant barbecue, and that's what this is. You see, you see, you see, we burned a witch, but also barbecued some meat out of the deal. Consider it community okay. service from witches she burns. I guess. Try using the memo function for this puzzle and draw a line from each of the knights to the points of which they stick their swords in. Yeah. Take a look at the knight standing on the barrel. If you follow his sword to the other side, you will see that it is straight. Mm -hmm. This one's not too hard unless you don't have the best depth perception. Even in again, in general, these puzzles seem to be easier compared to the standard uh, later ones. We got our occasionally challenging ones, like the Taylor ones, which are considered like that one puzzle of the game, especially the second version of it, which is the very last puzzle in the game, surprisingly. But yeah, for the most part, they are mostly easier. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, they're all pretty unusually shaped. But we need to find the one that's not lined up perfectly. Allow me to show you my puzzle solving skills. Ah, the joy of solving puzzles. Yes, almost as, it's almost Correct. as great as the, the joy of my knight appears to be the one wielding the strange sword. Fine, I've opened the door. Let me get back to training my men. Thanks to you, Sir Hatter, I've been able to have it repaired immediately. Glad you were able to fix it. Now come on, let's be on our way, Luke. A puzzle like that is a piece of cake for Sir Top Hat. I mean, the Professor. Uh, okay, I mean, even once, fine. Hmm, as I suspected all along. You're certainly no ordinary gentleman. You're a super gentleman! The Hatter, Herschel Layton, shall henceforth be allowed to pass through this gate freely. Yay! Um, thank you. Uh, thank you, kind sir. Alright, Luke, let's, uh, let's go and uh, hope he isn't writing our final chapter. Please make your way to the storyteller as swiftly as possible. What more could impede us? A uh, death? Well, you know. No alternative, the, Luke. Well, you know, the storyteller is called of this world. Surely he would see to it that we make it to him alive before killing us. Hello, hello, storyteller. Kill them! Wow! No matter where I look, there are knights everywhere! Yes, indeed. The knights have their guard boost on this side of the gate. Makes sense, since we're so close to the Sorry, storyteller's tower. A... Sorry, we just sat on a spider. Given the grandness of the scale, I imagine they are living here, too. Mm-hmm. But... The ground. I wonder what exactly, where around here, we're supposed to meet the storyteller. Hmm. That knight said, go to the audience room, wherever that is. If a name is grand as audience room, you think it would be easy to notice. Hmm. Luke, can you see the long flight of stairs over there? I think we should go and take a look. A flight of stairs? Ah! I see it! No, Luke, that's the window. That's the flight of stairs. There's also a building over there. Hmm, looks rather stately. Do you think that's where the audience room is? Indeed, my boy. However, there seems to be something going on over there. From the looks of things, I don't think we'll be able to just ignore it and stroll right by. At any rate, let's go and take a look. All 
right then. Oh, a hint coin. Uh, oh boy, barrels. I can eat an tree. Not sure why there was a hint coin there, but okay. <laughs> I'm gonna climb up here and grab that. All right, just let me get on your shoulders and yep. Oh man. You be cuttered, Wibs. How many times do I gotta tell you? I ain't the suspicious guy you're after. Despite the evil-looking scar, evil-looking face, the scowl and eyes. I want to. Me that everybody has a scar is automatically evil. Again, there's also the scowl and evil glare. Hmm. Do you expect us to believe you? Hmm. You can save us all time and trouble here. Just admit your guilt and be done with it. Gotta be kidding me! This is a false accusation! Come on, why won't you listen to me? Sorry, what do you say? Guilty person <laughs> says what? I'm I bet my face might look a little scary, sure, but I'm telling you straight! I remember that line from Hoodwink. Um, man, we don't just lock up people because they're creepy. <laughs> yeah, if one of that film would be a person. My pals are always saying there's no one with a pure heart than good old Cutter! <laughs> Why did your parents name you Cutter? Oh, spare me, we're getting nowhere here. Hey, knights! What's to take bats here? Yes, sir. <clears throat> Good. Put this miserable wretch into solitary confinement. Damn. Yes, sir, Captain. Well, his face will never torment the lives of innocent beings ever again. Another successful day, love your ears. Oi, oi, what are you doing? I'm innocent. Innocent, I tell you. Do you ever do got a license for that face? <laughs> sure looks like a face you need a license for. Seems to have your hands full here. May I ask what happened? Hey, if it isn't you two, oh, the so runaway so convicts. Why are you, you mean to so? tell me you're the ones that the storyteller has summoned? I am to execute you, that's why I'm reaching for my sword. That's us, alright? And you can't go chasing us around the way you did before. Actually, that's my job search. Rats. It's nice to have God on your side. At least enough for us to visit him. Oh wait, Captain. What has that man been accused of? You would, not, you would need to ask? What has he done? He is guilty of carrying out a heinous crime of assault and theft. Uh, gotta say it! It weren't me! It was a false accusation! I'm totally innocent! Mm, would an innocent man really <laughs> yell like that? I think not. Silence! Who else could have done it? You? Oh! Now hmm, that definitely is a false accusation. You're getting 20 years for that! Holy crap, a crime has happened. Clearly, finally someone who looks evil. You told me a little more about this. Well, I had a feeling you'd want to know. You seem to like poking your nose into other people's business, despite how small the pecker is. A series of thefts have been occurring in this town, and at the same time a suspicious figure has been sighted. Now I ask you, does this man not look suspicious to you? Clearly it has to be him. Case closed. So are you suspicious then? You got it all wrong! I heard there was a thief in the area. That's why I teamed up with them townsfolk to keep a lookout for the blighter. And that ain't all. I even found a way to make sure every damn corner of the town was being watched. And yet My mother looks like this him. too, you know. We Ugh. placed ourselves in positions where we didn't have to put another we'll side of sight. Fine, we'll arrest your mother too then. <laughs> That's why Drip. How is that fair? This is sticking you guys. 
the middle ages. It's the middle ages. Nothing is fair. So you're saying that you watched every part of a town while at the same time avoiding overlapping each other's search literally like oh, this reminds me of a puzzle that's impossible you've committed the crimes and are trying to cover yourself explain why you didn't catch the criminal i wonder if you're perhaps mistaken it might just be true for example if they position themselves like this wait this looks like a puzzle what are you doing <laughs> it is a puzzle. Here, let me explain it to you. Puzzle 33, Street Patrol. There are reports of a thief lurking around in the town centre. The townsfolk are in charge of guard duty. There are two conditions in their stakeout. They have a perfect view of all the streets, their viewing range never overlaps. With that in mind, you think you can place the townsfolk in their correct spots. Hmm. Punch this and, um, move out. Yeah. Oh, and don't overlap, otherwise you'll, uh, fail. And everyone will point at laughing. <laughs> <laughs> I do dig the animations on this puzzle in regards to that stuff. Mm -hmm. No, honestly. Hmm. Okay, okay technically, this classic. wasn't the latest Sorry. of the latent games made, so fair beans in that regard. That being said, you know, you can definitely tell that the production values have definitely taken yet another surge. Yeah, the thing, yeah, the thing we have to remember is that Miracle Mask was actually a launch game for the 3DS, so you can, of course, at the very least, be kind of in some slide that they hadn't quite figured out what they could do yet. Well, I'm not just talking about that. I'm talking about the intricate animations that we see with the puzzles and how they function as well. Sure. Which is interesting because this is the first latent game to not have um, Akira Tago involved at all. Allow me to show you my puzzle-solving skills. You should expect no less from a gentleman. Well, I mean, some gentlemen can be crap at puzzles. Excellent. So, it turns out the dubious-looking gentleman was that. Wow, even Lane admits he's dubious-looking. Well, I would have never guessed such a solution was possible. So do you believe me now? I was telling the truth. The real culprit must still be on the loose. Going around stealing stuff in broad daylight! Hmm... Then, it looks like we have no choice. Let him go. We better head back to the crime scene and go no, over it again before finding his comb. Yes, so, so instead of just accusing the first evil-looking person we see, we have to do actual police work? Yes, go. yes, yes, it seems our standards do need to be raised. I what kind of bullshit is this? I don't know who you two are, but you're a bit too sharp to be some regular townsfolk. Not at all. Well, that being so special. Just a couple of regular English gentlemen. English, eh? So what is that, your title? <laughs> uh, well, whatever it may be, it's not normal to be summoned directly by the storyteller himself. Yes, my name is Herschel Ethan English, and my cousin named is Johnny. Johnny English. Hey, Glibs. Uh, Roy Atkinson as live action Leighton. <laughs> I would be. I'd go out and I'd have an older Leighton. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely not. Oh? Right, right. You know, like Roy Atkinson. I mean, he's, he's a, he's a I just. I don't think actor. he's right for this character. I mean, he's um, a capable dramatic actor, Shiroi. Have you ever seen Black Adder, Shiroi? Yes. I think something similar to that, like slightly less, uh, you know, comedic, uh, could work. Like he doesn't really look like the character, right? <laughs> okay, okay. Give him enough who, makeup, who's... and he could probably pull off the. Uh... Okay, so in that case, who, whose English actor would you choose as live actor? I don't know. <laughs> okay, would you pick a Welsh uh... actor? Probably uh, not. No. No, it has to be an English actor. Yeah. Or Christopher Miller. For once, we can't steal this one from them. Actually, I think what Christopher. About... I do think Christopher Miller could work in the role. But anyway, here's another what puzzle. About, what about Hugh? What about Hugh Grant? Uh, Jeremy, you need the night this time. What about Hugh Grant? Go on, go on. No, this is no good. Hugh Grant wouldn't work. It's been three days and three nights, but still, I don't get it. Oh, I can see her be so hard. What is it that you don't understand? Ah, don't frighten me like that! How long have you been there? Enough, 
Well, we've been here for quite some time now. What are you, what are you looking at? Plastic for her soul later. Well, I suppose I can tell you. See, I've been doing my mind training. Us knights must train, not just physically, but mentally, too. Alright, do you see my drift? Yes. Training of the mind, not life. As a gentleman, I always endeavor to keep my thinking flexible, too. Hmm. Your comment exudes confidence. If you are so self-assured, why not try this puzzle? This is a chess puzzle based on the brave fight between knights. Oh, cool. The trouble is, no matter how hard I try, I can't defeat the Black Knight. Maybe you can stop tapping your helmet to be able to figure it out. Okay, puzzle 34. Chess. Oh god, he's trying his hide out. Yes. Two opposing sets of nice chess pieces are engaged in battle. In order to win, your chess piece must topple the enemy piece. Chess pieces move two squares forward and one square perpendicular on each turn. The initial direction can be up, down, left, or right. Be careful, the board is filled with pits and spaces that will move your piece in the direction shown. So this is a special kind of chess, gentlemen. <laughs> But here's the thing, Dweebs, uh, um, like again, uh, when it comes to portraying later in live action, I can tell there's the major difference between, uh, you know, how Layton looks here and you, Grant. Uh, Layton doesn't have a very punchable face. Yeah. Okay, you know what? Grant's thing as an actor I, is that he stares and blinks rapidly. I know that he has a lot of fans oh. and he's a good actor, but... I am, I am kind of condition, have a, like a condition to instantly be uh, idiosyncratic every time I see you grind appearing on screen because uh, my sister could never shut up about uh, the major movies he appeared in Naughty Gill and Bridget Jones' Diary. <laughs> Look, mm -hmm. Hugh Grant's a good actor. I do not think he's best for the new ship filling the Layton role. Ironically, I've seen Christopher Miller and he could definitely look like Layton. And as for the voice, well, I'm pretty sure he's got that covered. Allow me to show you my puzzle solving uh, I skills. I mean, let's uh, be fair, it would not be the first time we've had a voice no actor actually gentleman. cover their character in live action. Mm. I feel like he could do it. Whoa! You beat the Black Knight! If I can just remember how you did that. Which whole job there, that's how you beat him. Mm. Yeah. All right. Now, if I can beat him, he can keep guard of this area next week instead of me. Keep guard? Instead of you? Yeah. Uh, no, no, no. It's um, barely for mind training. Believe me. Uh huh. Sounds a little fishy to me. You know, I will say this. Oh, my... God, ladies and gentlemen. Professor, there's the story tell this chariot from the parade. So this is where it's part. We need to save us, Mrs. Bella, before the next parade. I will say this: one of my favorite puzzles is definitely the super version of the chess puzzle, which we are gonna see way later into the game. Ah, mm. Professor, I think there are mice hiding up there. Take a closer look. You may notice that there are not only mice hiding there. No way! Uh, uh, I see what you mean, Professor! There's a hidden puzzle here, too! Just leave it to me, Professor! I will climb up that wall and solve that puzzle with my own two bare hands! This puzzle well... might prove to be a little tricky. Take a deep breath and do your best. The first part, getting the puzzle in the first place. You see, Joe, you're saying that as kind of a joke, but considering the stuff Luke does in the movie, yeah, that's not a, that's that's just you know something that he would be actually capable of doing. I mean, so. we literally saw him Sonic the Hedgehog run up and down a giant mech in the movie. The sky's exactly. the limit for those so. boys. It seems some mice have taken up residence in the house. They're particularly fond of a delicious cheese to keep there. 
tilt the table left, right, up and down to send the mice sliding across the surface. Slide each of the four mice so that they end up in the traps. Make sure that they do not touch the cheese. It would be easier if you just picked up the cheese. No, Shuroi, we have to trap the mice cleverly like this to show that we just pick up are the truly cheese. superior in intellect to them. Right. Right. But, like, like, like I said before, one of the more obscure inspirations that Layton series has that not a lot of people talk about is 80s anime, where in 80s anime a lot of... Uh, but then I mean the more adventure-esque uh, 80s animes, where the, the characters would do a lot of superhuman things that would never... that would just for the sake of being cool or, or fun, basically. Okay, forgot if it was 80s or still early 90s, but... Uh... Uh, Fushigi no Omi no Nadi, I think, qualifies as an inspiration, potentially. Yeah. yeah. There's quite a bit of them. Go. This is my answer! <laughs> Professor! I did it! The mice are crying horrible bloody murder to let them out, but I solved the puzzle! Excellent. Consider this cheesy battle over and done. Yay. Yay. Wonderful. It's been a Wonderful. productive day. This kind of chess puzzle is becoming quite popular recently, but naturally I do this for mind training, not just for the fun of it. Splendid! I wouldn't mind having her myself one day. Maybe that day may come sooner than you think. You did it! You saved my high pick! I regret this! I regret this, but... Oh. So I'm not sure if you're going to reference to Telltale Games after all. <laughs> My motto is to always return kindness from others. If you two ever find yourselves in trouble, give me a shout and I'll be right there. Goody. It's just like in those Tom and Jerry cartoons where Jerry help, helps um, the dog. dog. Uh, Alright, so in the next part, it's time to go to see God, a.k.a. the Storyteller. No pressure. Mm -hmm. See you then. Yeah. yeah. yeah.